What's up? How's it going? Welcome to another day in paradise. So, Thunder Junction is running late. Apparently, it's been sitting at a FedEx terminal, FedEx freight terminal, that I had to set up a freaking delivery for. That I've never ever had that happen to me. So it would have just sat there if I didn't call for a week just sitting there. It's insane. I, whatever, I, it's, it's, it's baffling. Anyway, man, it's been a rough week for eBay. Uh, so people can just order whatever they want pretty much and return whatever they want. <laughs> Let me explain. So I sold these, uh, this, the, the collection from the scene lot. Let me pull up the listing. Let me explain to you how screwed up eBay is towards sellers. So, I had a buyer buy um, the scene bundle collection. Okay, so this is what they ordered. Eight sets of these. Eight sets. So, what we do is when a buyer buys them, this is what we do. This is how I know that they're full of shit. Uh, so we come here, they're all sealed right here. I even opened a few just to verify if maybe he was right. I think I opened three or four of them. So what we do is when the buyer buys them, we take them. So one, two, three, four. We go over here <laughs> to the shipping station. We then proceed to open them, lay them out, put them in penny sleeves, and then ship them off to the buyer to verify that we're sending them the right thing because I don't trust Wizards of the Coast. Just like I do with the commander deck displays. Where are they? Right here. I open the display, verify they're getting the right uh, commander decks because I've had in the past commander displays missing from the entire display. I verify it, then it goes off to the customer. That's exactly what I did here. <laughs> now you tell me what's wrong. So, we are missing. Two Legolas's quick reflexes. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, we're missing one. Wait, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing one of these. The most expensive card we're missing. And we got extra one of these, an extra one of these, and an extra one of these. Uh, it's just a blatant, like, so, somewhat, so this is this is this is probably what their intention was. They wanted them sealed or whatever. That's what they said. So I, the listing isn't for a sealed one. <laughs> it's for, it's for these. So what they did is they took out one card, thought they were getting them sealed, and then returned the rest. Or had a, the, th the fucked up thing was is there is is there a seller? You know, they're, they're, they're a seller. Let's see, and you know what the crazy thing is? Let's see if they have this car for sale. They don't have it for sale, but it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't change my theory here. So I, I'm not crazy, I know what I sent. How did I send one less of the most expensive card, an extra one of these, an extra one of these, and an extra one of these, and one one less of these. So shorted on this and this, but have extra one of this, this, and this. It doesn't even add up to the same amount of cards. It's like one extra I got back. But the most expensive card is missing. It's so confusing to me. So what I think is they just took that one card. They must order these and break them down or whatever, but... They're a seller too. And I lost the case. So I lost the actual, the return case. They didn't return. So according to eBay, you can order whatever you want and return whatever you want in any amount. Ah, you'll just get your money back. Fuck the seller. Ah, he doesn't care, it doesn't matter. But that's the thing that makes people give up. So like if, and as, as I'm filming this video, 
I swear to God, I just got a notification on my phone for another return. Let's let's see what it is. Fallout Commander decks. Ooh, wonder what happened here. Let's see. <laughs> let's see the details. Okay. Oh, damaged rare cards. There you go. That. So, another return request for that. But now, listen. If if someone if there's a problem with the item and it gets returned, whatever, it's fine. But what happens is people find the littlest thing that is wrong with something. They'll return it, but they won't won't return all of the cards. This happens to me all the time on Amazon. We sell on Amazon all the time. People do return scams all the time, and it's so prevalent on Amazon, it's crazy. That's why your margins have to be so high on Amazon, because the amount of theft that happens on Amazon. We'll get, I'll get returns probably two or three times, four times a week, and I'll get a return, one singular card out of like a thousand cards, one card. And there's like almost nothing you could do about it. <laughs> like legitimately almost nothing. Uh, because like it's a, it's an item that's less than ten or fifteen bucks, so what ends up happening is Amazon just you know sides with the customer and that's it. It's a sometimes it's even returnless. They don't even have to return it, so they get the product and their money back, and I don't get the pro I don't get my product back. So now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to appeal this, and according to the email that eBay sent me. I have sufficient evidence to win the appeal. But why empower people that are gonna do this? Why give them the tools to be able to do this? Why not just make them lose the appeal so they don't do it anymore? I don't get it. It that doesn't make sense to me. So <clears throat> in their eyes, they're making both parties happy by them get, getting their money back and then me having to jump through additional hoops to get my money back or partial of it. Like, all I wanted was the card back. Maybe he made a mistake. I messaged him. Says, oh, I never even opened it. It must have been sent to me like that. Come on, man. <laughs> what do you mean you never even opened it? How did you know? Uh, whatever. Anyway. So, this is my morning while I'm waiting for my Fallout delivery that should have been here two days ago. So, things are going great. Things are going fucking great. Uh, so let me uh, apply for that appeal, and we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know what happens, but I swear to God, if they don't give me my money back, or just, I don't even want all of it. I just want what that card's worth. That's all I want. Like, it's crazy to me that, that this is something that happens. Uh, whatever. It's part of the business, though. Uh, I know I'm going to... Get a lot of flack on this video. Oh, quit crying. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, shut the fuck up. You don't... <laughs> Maybe it's just in my head. I fake fights all day in my head. All right, let's do this appeal. See how, that, see how that works out. So, appeal was sent. It's such a beautiful day. Working with the garage door open. It's awesome. So, <clears throat> this is why a lot of people do... They quit eBay. Because th bad things happen in, like, quick succession. So, we had... Two returns last week for singles, and they returned empty envelopes. Um, and by the time, you know, it got here and I called eBay saying it returned an empty envelope, the eBay profile was already gone. So that was a clear scam or whatever. <clears throat> but, you know, things like this, uh, what they call in the industry is they call it friendly fraud. Like, uh, so pretty much... Like someone will shop from you and either do a chargeback for a small amount and, you know, in hopes of, you know, the retailer or the person just not thinking it's worth their time to fight it, whether it's 20, 30 bucks. I mean, this was, you know, 200 plus dollars worth of singles. And, you know, if it wasn't the most expensive card in the whole thing, like let's say one of something else was missing, I wouldn't even did it. I would just be like, ah, whatever, give him his money back. We got most of them back. But the fact that it's the most expensive one, and it's like, come on. I know I sent them all to you. I know. <laughs> you know, 
that's the reason why it's getting a reaction like this from me. <clears throat> and I thought I was going to win the case. I was like, I clearly won this because he didn't send back everything. And then eBay sided with him. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. So then what they really want you to do, what eBay wants you to do, um, is just, you know, give up. Because they don't want to side with the buyer and they don't want to side with the seller. So what happens is they'll side with the buyer and make you jump through more hoops to get your money back. So the buyer thinks they won, they got their money. And that now you have to prove again, which we already proved in the initial, uh, the initial dispute that we didn't get back everything we sent. So, in a way, it's for eBay to protect their ass from their customers too, which is crazy to me that, you know, something like either like this or something else, whatever, not returning the right amount or right thing could happen for a period of time. So like this person could do this again and again and again until eventually, you know, people like this do get banned. But like it, it takes time and one person burnt, another person burnt. And if, you know, if it's something that this person doesn't do often, he could probably do it in perp perpetuity of like his whole eBay selling and buying career. If he just does one or two a year. It's like, ah, a little scamming. Ah, we'll let it go. It's just a little bit. Ah, we don't care. We're a huge co corporation. We'll just refund everyone and ha make the, the buyer jump through hoops to get their money back too. But that's just how it works with these third-party marketplaces. And if I was like, let's say you just starting out just got hit, because technically in the past month, calculating all of the returns and disputes and everything, it was probably like $800 worth of inventory. Now, if you're a small seller, like just getting started, that could cripple you. Because they took the money, the money's gone, they took it. Now I have to fight to get it back. Now, if you're just starting out, that could like really hurt you. <laughs> but eh, I guess it's done for a reason. They wouldn't be where they are today if it wasn't for a reason, but we have to jump through more hoops to get our money back, but hopefully we get it back in the end. Um, so they'll, they'll end up on the block list, which is something you know we do share with our patrons and everything like that, just so I've been selling for so long and there's so many people on that thing, man. And you don't just get on that thing just for like returning an item. No, no like you get on that thing for doing something, misu misusing eBay's policies. That's the reason why you get on my block list. Not for saying something's near, lightly played when it's not, or near mint when it's not, I, that, whatever. That shit's fine. The only reason you get on that list is if you misuse eBay's policies and try and scam people. That's it. And I swear to God, there's like over 100 people on it. Uh, I've been selling for a long time, guys. Uh, eventually, you know, people fall off the list because just because they get banned or whatever. But hey, man, if you don't get nothing else out of this video and you join the Patreon, you, you join the Patreon, you get that list. And believe me, it will save you because there's some shitty people on that thing. But we'll see the outcome. Waiting for Thunder Junction. Let's see how the day unfolds. Look, looking beautiful right now. Thunder Junction has arrived. Finally. Jesus. It's been like two days waiting for it, sitting at a FedEx terminal. Right, Juan? Yeah, no reason. No reason. <laughs> but we got it. So, yeah. A lot of work ahead of us. It's crazy, because we went from like, at the old place, only able to accept one pallet, because just because it was upstairs, having to bring everything upstairs. Now, you know, two is really easy, so probably next future set, we'll be able to get more and more and more and more. Because I could probably fit another, what? One, two, three, four, another, probably four pallets in here. Because it's, it's, the workflow now is pretty simple. So we just go from there, pull the order, pack it, put it over here.
and it's just like bing bang boom bing bang boom like real quick so like i'm able to bust out like probably like 50 60 orders a day like patron orders maybe probably more than that maybe a hundred if i'm like here just vibing out watching tv and it's just so easy the other place this if i would have got this these two pallets it would have taken me all day to just bring it upstairs and not including like packaging and shipping orders but it's here we're ready to rock it's gonna start going out for friday so uh yeah no update on the ebay thing yet we'll see what happens with that all right it's the next day <laughs> little headway on that ebay thing so apparently i gotta fill out some affidavits or something because uh I guess, I don't know, to cover their ass. So, they say there's enough evidence for me to get my money back too. But I'm just like, why does it have to be like that? You know what I mean? I, I, it's like, I guess I see where they're coming from, but it's just fucking crazy. But, Thunder Junction shipping. Uh, goes out Friday, but this is the progress so far. We got our pallets down to one singular commander pallet and some odds and ends. And right here, this is all the stuff that's going out right now. Lots of stuff. And uh, Boulder's Gate came in like the same time. So in the car right now, it's sagging and it is full of Boulder's Gate. Jesus Christ. But I might have to cut that out because of the license plate. But you'll, you, look, look. This is this is the Boulder's Gate draft boxes. Trunk is full. Everything in there is full. Crazy, man. To think, people want this stuff now. It's crazy how the world works. You know? When no one wants it, no one wants it. And then once people want it, everyone wants it. And that's literally how the trading card industry works. I uh, like I, I could say till I'm blue in the face you just gotta be in it to win it and literally buy everything because when you pick and choose that's when you burn yourself man I've been burnt so many times picking and choosing my battles but you just gotta be in every single one because the one you choose not to go in is gonna be the good one and it's always the case but Thunder Junction is by far my best-selling set uh, to date. And it's crazy. It's freaking crazy. I, you know, about a month of preparation in this single day with getting orders together and things like that. And it goes off pretty quickly. Within, I'd say, probably eight hours of shipping, like... You're pretty much done. Oh, hey there. How are you? So, I got this new fancy mic. Figured I'd use it. Give it a go. Little unique shot here. About halfway through packaging up everything, I decided to stop and film a little video about perspective. Um, in continuation of the other video, it's now three days. <laughs> um, so, this is about half of the orders going out. I just want to take people's point of view and perspective of how bad and terrible a set is in people's opinion. Thunder Junction is terrible. Terrible garbage fire set of all sets is, is just worse than murders. It's on the same par. Blah, blah, blah. Literally c countless videos I've seen. So, the numbers don't lie for me. Best-selling set to date for me could be a little bit uh, skewed data because, you know, of the prices we charge but and the growth of the Patreon. But best-selling set so far. Um, I can't see how this set could do bad with, you know, all of the big reprints and the textured cards and all that other stuff. I, I literally cannot see it doing bad so the whole thing with this new little mic i got going on 
is, so I could do this. And I think it'll be cool. So I can, hey, you can still hear me, right? I don't have to be all up on the mic. And I could just work and just answer questions and just do my work. Um, it's, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna allow me to answer a lot more questions. It's gonna allow me to engage more. And, cause literally you can ask people that work here. I go on rants all the time. Uh, to my detriment, to my, I, I, things I don't want people to hear <laughs> get said. Uh, so maybe you'll hear a few of those things. Maybe you won't, but probably, you probably will. Uh, so that's probably what I'm going to be doing with this whole thing is make cool videos like this and work and be able to do work because I have to pick and choose. Now I could do them both at the same time. I could work and I can make content. So there we go. <laughs> Two birds, one stone, right? Productivity phew, through the roof. So I'm sorry, I'm tall. Um, that's it, man. Thunder Junction. It's a good one, guys. I I'm sorry that um, I'm sorry that it's good because, you know, if you just took everyone's point of view on uh, YouTube, literally every set when it first comes out is, is garbage until the price goes up and then the set's great. But just look at it. Granted, I do want to sell it, so I am a little biased, but I don't know. I see it performing very well. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.